is up guys, welcome back to BMW E90 HQ. It's Will coming at you with another video. Today we're going to go ahead and upgrade these halo lights to LEDs. As you can see, they are quite dingy halogens and we're going to upgrade them to LEDs. So we have the Lux 180s. So this is Fitz car with the xenon headlamps. Uh, if you have halogen headlights in your E90, these are not what you're going to use. I have another video from when I had the 328. Um, I'll go ahead and leave that one in the description card here, and you can check that out if you have halogen headlights. And uh, I didn't use Lux in that car. I used um, Gensi. They were great. I couldn't find Gensi's for this anymore. They used to make them for this car. I can't even find anything for them actually on Amazon anymore. So I don't know if they just don't sell on Amazon anymore, or they went out of business, or what it is. But uh, I went with Lux. Uh, they are on the expensive side, on the stupid expensive side, but they are the best in the business, tried and true. Um, so I went with them just mostly because I didn't want to deal with the hassle of getting a $20 pair and they're not being that bright and only lasting for a little while or anything like that. You know, with these, I know that these are going to last as long as this car lasts because uh, I'm, I'm never selling this car. Um, you know, th this car is going to eventually be like a, a, a nine second car one day. Not right now, it's not the goal right now. Short term goals aren't that, but that's the long term goal. So this car is never going away unless it just blows itself up or it gets totaled or something. So these are definitely, this is why I went with these. So um, go ahead and do the install on these. All right guys, so uh, I went ahead and installed the Lux. I tried to get a, a you know, a, a DIY video, but there's, there's no space back there to film. I mean, I have pretty like small hands, it, so it made it a little easier for me to do. I, I mean, I can't imagine that if you had bigger hands than I do, that you probably have to take these headlights out. I mean, there's no space back there. You definitely at least have to remove that boost canister to get access, because it, it was there wasn't any space for me, and I like I said, small have small hands, so it uh. You know, it would be really difficult otherwise, I think. But it only took like 20 minutes to do, maybe. You know, 20 minutes of yelling at the car, really. But uh, it, they're in now, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you know show you what they look like and everything. But before I do that, I'm just gonna kind of uh, try to explain the best of what you do. So you're just gonna kind of reach behind the headlight. You'll you can look too. I mean, there's enough space to look. You can kind of see what you're doing and um, just twist off that little thing there. You're gonna see it, it's pretty obvious. Uh, it's just like a little round twist off cap. Twist that thing off, you'll, show, you'll, uh, you'll see the back of the halogen light. You're gonna want to rotate it counterclockwise, pull it on out, and uh, you're gonna put the Lux in, and you wanna make sure that the flat piece on the Lux bulbs is up top, because there's three little uh, clips that kind of you know twist into place, and one of them is smaller than the rest of them. So it'll only go that one way. You can't just you know, put them in any old way and expect it to work. The small one has to be at the small spot and the other two bigger ones have to be at the two big points. And then when you do that, you twist it uh, clockwise and then, or yeah, I think it's clockwise. Anyway, the opposite of however you took it out, obviously. And uh, you know, they just go right in. So it's pretty easy. It's just the space is the limiting factor which made it pretty much impossible to film and uh, pretty much you know, it's, it's easy though. So um, these lights, you know, they're, they're really good. Uh, the problem is that with them, the inner LED is a lot brighter than the outer one. And that has nothing to do with these bulbs. That has everything to do with the design of the headlight assembly. Uh, I believe that I've even heard people say that there are companies you can ship your headlights out to and they'll actually like fix them so that they don't do that. But, I mean, this is like a nearly 10 year old car, so I would not, you know, it's going to be a couple hundred bucks, I'd imagine. I, I wouldn't be spending that kind of money just on, um, you know, making my headlights look a little better. I mean, th th this makes a huge difference, as you guys have, can see. Uh, they're so much better than the halogens. You know, they were just dingy, the halogen ones, and uh, very happy with these. And uh, probably in the next video you see me, I'm going to be probably wearing the Nashville shirt again, because I'm about to start filming it right now. All right, guys, if you found this video informative, you know, please smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.